I want to acknowledge the traditional owners on the countries that you are all meeting on today. Where I am, on Ngunnawal country here in Canberra, I acknowledge and the elders past and present and the leadership that is emerging. Indigenous business in Australia is going from strength to strength, emerging from the COVID-19 pandemic and embracing the opportunities presented as part of our economic recovery. Six years ago, when the Australian Government introduced our Indigenous procurement policy, Indigenous businesses were winning around six million in the Australian Government contracts annually. Purchasing from Indigenous businesses increased significantly following the introduction of our policy, averaging 850 million per year. Last financial year, Almost 11,000 contracts with a total value of over 1 billion have been awarded to 943 Indigenous businesses, a more than 160 times increase in six years. How, would, how did we achieve this? Indigenous entrepreneurs are at the heart of this success. Indigenous businesses and Indigenous entrepreneurs seize the opportunity. Indigenous business owners have been agile, upskilling to meet increased demands for their goods and services, including in rapidly developing industries. For instance, in 2015-16, Indigenous businesses won 4 million in Australian Government contracts in the information and technology sector. Last financial year, this has grown to over 53 million. Indigenous businesses have also been growing their capacity to deliver significantly. When the policy was first introduced, large contracts tended to go to non-Indigenous suppliers. Now Indigenous businesses are regularly winning contracts over 10 million in their own right. And COVID-19 has not put a dampener on this Indigenous ambition. 416 Indigenous businesses won their first contract with the Australian Government in the 2021 financial year a testament to the entrepreneurial spirit of Indigenous Australians, even in uncertain times. The other key success factor behind the Indigenous procurement policy is the fact that it's embedded in the rules that govern how we do procurement. We just don't talk about increasing our purchasing from Indigenous businesses. When required, Australian government's departments do it. Under the Indigenous procurement policy, an Australian Government Department looking to procure something in remote Australia or something worth between 80000 and 200000 must try to use an Indigenous business to deliver the work before approaching the market. There are also mandatory minimum Indigenous participation requirements that must be included in contracts over $7.5 million. This sends a clear message to suppliers wanting to do business with the Australian Government. They need to demonstrate how they are engaging with Indigenous businesses or supporting Indigenous employment before the government will do business with them. And finally, each portfolio has two targets to meet. One for the number of contracts and one for the value of contracts awarded to Indigenous businesses. The Australian Government is proud of the Indigenous procurement policy. It has given unprecedented support for the Indigenous business sector and we are not stopping there. National Roadmap for Indigenous Skills, Jobs and Wealth Creation, the National Roadmap for Indigenous Skills, Jobs and Wealth Creation, is how we are moving beyond supplier diversity targets to Indigenous business growth and scalability. In August, I launched the National Roadmap, which sets out the short, medium and long-term actions to achieve our vision of a thriving and financially independent Indigenous business sector. The roadmap is being developed in partnership with Indigenous leaders, businesses, industry and the Australian state and territory governments to get everyone working together. What I've noticed is under the Indigenous procurement policy, Indigenous companies thrive when they are part of the mainstream economic advancement. But more importantly, most Indigenous owned companies tend to employ our people, skilling them and giving them job opportunities of a nature that they've never had before. So my agency has been hosting a series of roundtables looking at what are the opportunities? What are the jobs? How can we guarantee career pathways for young Indigenous Australians? 
And I say that because when I think about some of the scholarship programs that we have, there are hyper-excelling Indigenous students, but I don't see them going in the very industries that are evolving because of the changing nature both of Australia's economy and the global economy. We need to develop the skills and capability and capacity so we have young Indigenous Australians from every corner of our great nation and our country, our cultural country being extremely successful in every field of endeavour. And my final dream is to see an Aboriginal company in the top 200 companies listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, functional and operating well. When we achieve that, then I know we have directors on boards and within mainstream corporate companies in a way that we have never seen. This is about the future of our children. So that's why we're working towards a sustainable and flourishing Indigenous business sector that is front of mind for those looking to invest. This will be guided by our Indigenous business sector strategy. Launched in 2018, the Indigenous business sector strategy features a range of initiatives to support the growth of a vibrant and diverse Indigenous business sector. Through consultation with over 200 Indigenous businesses and entrepreneurs, this strategy is designed to maximise the economic opportunities of Indigenous businesses, individuals and communities. Consultation identified four themes on which the strategy is built. The need for better access to business support, improved access to capital, stronger networks and greater access to information. The strategy also contains actions to support diversity within the Indigenous business sector. Service providers are required to ensure their programs and services are accessible and supportive of young Indigenous Australians and Indigenous women who wish to start or grow their businesses. A key feature of the strategy are the Indigenous business and employment hubs that we are rolling out across Australia based out of our, out of our major cities. These hubs offer our business owners business advice, mentoring, workshops and training as well as a place from which to work. The culturally appropriate design and delivery of the hub support connections and trust between the hub coaches and their clients. As we emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic, there is renewed opportunity for Indigenous businesses to make their mark on the Australian economy. We are now three years into our delivery of the Indigenous business sector strategy. This was where we learn and innovate. The next stage of the strategy will leverage technology to provide even more Indigenous entrepreneurs with access to timely and culturally sensitive business support, be it in person or online, regardless of where they live in Australia. Indigenous businesses show us new, inclusive and sustainable ways to drive the economic potential of both land and people. And supporting Indigenous businesses supports the future of Indigenous Australians.